Lockwood playing it from the penalty box area. William Lockwood, his father Joe, played at the University of Michigan. Passed the job on the USA change, dumps it in behind the Chicago goal in a scoreless game. On the rush, right playing it over the line, Connor Murphy could not control the pass. USA defenseman Griffin Loose did. Working over the line, moving in tight, getting the shot, scored! First goal in the history of the new building. It's a 1-0 Team USA lead, Zach Walker on that puck. And the native from Boise, Idaho, in one motion, Pete, corralled the puck and watch this relief, release. Uh, just a tremendous release by the young man headed to BC. All in one motion, here's your replay. Well, we'll get to it in a second. There you go, gets the puck and just that quick snapshot and Johnny Lesman didn't have a chance. So, there's an answer to a trivia question, Pete. Not trivial for Zach Walker. He gives the Team USA U18s a one nothing lead. But uh, that'll be a goal that uh, I'm sure will be replayed an awful lot. Ottinger leaves it behind the goal for Ryan Lindgren. To center of Luke Martin and back to Lindgren. Kotarenko, left wing over the Chicago line, takes it left wing to the half wall. Plays it to the uh, end boards. On the right point, Luke Martin. Left point, Lindgren. Right circle, bounced away from uh, the Team USA player Lockwood. Lockwood keeping it alive. He'll take it right circle, looking for the shot. Moving out in front as Chicago gets back to full strength. Right wing, Kotarenko, picked off on the play. Lindgren, top of the right circle, takes a look. Will fake. Take the shot, score! Might have been tipped out in front. And uh, the young Americans, John, very patient. They lead 2 0. This power play is going to score a lot of power play goals this year, Pete. It really is. Uh, the puck movement is incredible. They're keeping guys running around all over the place. And, and you've seen it on every one of their power play opportunities. Now, that one's not going to go in the books as a power play goal, but they kept the pressure going. Put the puck at the net, good things are gonna happen. Low shot, the screen was in front. Looks to me like that just beat Johnny Lutheran through the wickets beat, but it starts with the pressure. You have guys flat-footed, you have a screen in front of the goaltender, things like that are gonna happen. USA worked hard for that goal. They sure did. Now it's picked off, left wing is Micho, took a shot, did not get through. Back comes Team USA up to nothing. Keenan Southers hits the Chicago line. Put it out in front, moving it, score! J.D. Greenway, the big defenseman, put it five hole. Team USA leads three nothing. You wanna talk about reach. This young man, six foot four, 205 pounds, from Potsdam, New York. Watch this reach. One hands the puck to himself, Pete. I mean, that's basically what happened here. And again, it looks like Letheman, I'll wait for the replay, it looks like he's uh, victimized between the wickets again. Look at that reach. You just can't, oh, are you kidding me? Joey Anderson, for Bellows and back to Anderson on the USA power play. Puck behind the Chicago goal. Bellows chase it right boards. Plays it top the right circle for Adam Fox. High slot, Chad Chris. Traffic out in front of John Letheman. Keller moving in left wing, got the shot, blocked by uh, Kirsten. Left point, Chris. Top the right circle, Fox. Moves in, took the shot, score! Rocket of a shot by Fox. Team USA has opened up a 4 0 lead. In uh, that time again, Pete, caught him all standing around flat footed there. Nothing John Letheman can do. He's a big body goaltender, uh, but they're just, they're skating around him right now. Decide to go up high this time. They victimize uh, Letheman between his legs a few times this one take a look when you see this replay watch the guys just kind of standing around it isn't even so much the box me take a look there's your puck movement no one really comes over until late leftman doesn't have a chance keller on the draw for team usa won it cleanly and bellows the shot scores he tucked it under the bar had to wait a minute keller and bellow with the great chemistry, it's 5 nothing. Team USA. Yeah, what were you just saying about those two guys? Everything we just said, we'll, we'll repeat it. Uh, you know, two guys with a lot of chemistry, uh, one guy who's a finisher, you saw it right there. Bellows had the hat trick September 26th in Youngstown. Keller with four points in the game as well, and there's a well-placed shot after Keller won the draw. Well, you just aren't giving Johnny Lethman any help in there. 
giving him, giving him the uh, pull right now as well. Lockwood in his own zone, finding Fox on the rush over the Chicago line. Adam Fox, put it out in front, they score! Six nothing. Fox went wide, found a man out in front all alone. Team USA up six nothing. Oh my. Well, welcome uh, to the game. I believe that's the first shot he faced, Pete. And uh, Patrick Kodorenko will get the goal. Same result here. Let's take a look. I was waiting to see that replay. I, again, boy, they're just not giving these goaltenders a chance. You can't blame him for that, Pete. Somebody's got to mark that guy. When you're behind the net, you see a guy breaking in. Somebody's got to mark him. Yeah, you don't. You're not. A, you're not going to stop that if you're a goaltender right now. Six nothing, Team USA. 6-1 Team USA, it's been a dominating performance at times. And if you've noticed, Stanton Cole is uh, uh, playing everybody here in the third period. That's he really, he really has. You nailed it, Pete. Uh, you got a game right back in here less than two days away. Smart move. Team USA dominates tonight. Zach Walker picks up the puck. And the National Team Development Program U18s dominate tonight. They beat the Chicago Steel by a score of 6-1. to one.